Metamorphosis is widespread throughout the animal kingdom. A lot of marine organisms hatch from their eggs in one form, a, a pluteus or a, a anopleus. Uh, this includes echinoderms, sea urchins, um, starfish. It includes crustaceans, crabs, barnacles. Um, it includes uh, a lot of mollusks. They have a form that's free swimming, feeding, and, and disperses throughout the ocean. And then time comes for metamorphosis. that some signal triggers it. They change their body plan. They settle to the, to the bottom of the ocean and they take up residence and have a whole new lifestyle. It happens in amphibians. We don't understand it in any of these organisms, not just in butterflies. We can give just so stories about why it should be that the way it is. Um, it makes sense from a lifestyle point of view. If you're a marine organism, your job is to disperse throughout the ocean. You need to be carried long distances. You need to be small and able to swim, disperse, and then the right cue, you settle to a a suitable habitat and now you adopt a different lifestyle. That works for them. It's very successful. For butterflies and other insects, um, the advantage of being uh, undergoing metamorphosis is the larval stage can be dedicated to just one task, eating, I should say two, eating and growing. That's what it's all about. And at the same time they're doing the eating and growing, they can be preparing tissues for the adult. So it shortens their life cycle. And it allows them to have one food source for that rapid growth phase, and then as they emerge in, as an adult, if they eat at all, they can use a different set of resources and focus on reproduction. So it's functionally very efficient, but it's still a mystery how it happened.